Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 17. We are going to present about the architecture of Umayyad Spain, Andalusia. So, the first architecture is Mezquita Cathedral, as known as the Great Mosque of Cordoba. It is one of the oldest structures still standing from the time Muslim ruled Al Andalus, Muslim Iberia, including most of Spain, Portugal, and a small section of southern France in the late 8th century. So, the facade of this mosque, the Great Mosque of Cordoba, is the building being supported by over 850 columns. Frequently, hippo style mosques have outer arcades so the visitors can enjoy the shade. It is constructed most under the Umayyad and Abbasid dynasty, and the simplicity of the Arab plan limited the opportunities for further development, the most consequently losing popularity because of this architecture and the plan. And this is the layout plan. Uh, as you can see, this is Cordoba Mosque in Iraq, interior design. The interior design of the Great Mosque of Cordoba. And it is also famous with its orange courtyard. This orange courtyard trees fill the courtyard of the Great Mosque of Cordoba, Spain. The Mosque of Cristo de la Luz is one of the former mosques in Toledo, Spain. It was known as Mesquita Bob al Mardum, and it derives from the name of the city Gate Bab al Mardum. It is located near uh, Puerta del Sol in an area of the city once called Medina, where wealthy Muslims used to live. It was completed with the aid of Allah under the direction of Musa ibn Ali, architect and Sa'ada, and concluded in Muharram in 390 Islamic calendar. It was built in 999 and it was the oldest example of uh, Islamic culture in Spain. Um, the building is a small square structure which is 8 meters times 8 meters. Four columns keep with Visigothic capitals divide the interior into nine compartments. Covering each of these bay is a vault that has a distinctive design that is unique unto itself. The central vault is higher than the other ones and acts as a two polar for the structure. Each vault employs the use of ribs to create the design uh, that makes them unique. Each of them follows the basic ideas of Islamic design. The ribs is typically do not cross in the center, an idea that is seen in many Muslim designs. Some of the designs are more rectilinear, while others embrace the curved form of the vault more prominently. The columns and the capitals both had been taken from previous building and are therefore known as spolia. The building is constructed of a brick and small stones. The other three facades are articulated by three bay arcades. The western wall, which serves as the main entrance, is unique in how the arcade is articulated. This facade has a loop arch, horseshoe arc, and a wider version of a horseshoe arc. In later years, a mudeja semicircle apse was aided. In the process of the addition, the Qibla wall and mihrab were lost. The use of the mudeja style provided a smooth transition from the original structure to the apse. As the addition uses the same style of decoration and materials as the original. The continuation of the arc Motif is an important link between the two sections of the building. Hi, my name is Sharifah Mas Imani Mati Sirwazali and I'm going to present about one of the architectures in 
my next page, which is Madina Azahra. Madina Azahra, or also known as Madina Azahra, was a fortified palace city on the western outskirts of Cordoba in present day Spain. The city was built in the 10th century by Abdul Rahman III, who is the member of the Umayyad dynasty and also the first caliph of Al Andalus. The Madina Azahra city covered an almost rectangular area measuring 1.5 km long and 700 m wide. Its perimeter was protected by a thick stone wall with square bastions. And today, only about 10 of the 112 hectares of the city has been excavated and restored. The Upper Basilica Hall The structure known today as the Upper Basilica Hall has been identified tentatively as the Dar al Jun, means House of the Army in the Arabic. The main hall itself is the largest interior space ever documented in the historic palace architecture of the Western Islamic world. The walls were made of stone and plastic, with little ornamentation other than a red garden near the base, while the floors were paved in brick instead of stone. However, the walls may have originally been covered with ornamental furnishing. For example, tapestries and curtains may have been draped across the arches. The Salarico the reception hall of Abdul Rahman III, known by its Spanish name as the Sala Rico, which means rich hall. The building's interior has a basilical form with some general similarities to the upper basilica hall. The central hall is 70.5 meters long and 20.4 meters wide and is divided into three naves. And today, the building is covered by sloped wooden roof built by Felix Hernandez, but it is not exactly what kind of roofing or shielding it originally had. For the ornamentation of the Salarico, the central hall is notable for its alternate ornamentation which is carved onto stone panels or slab attached to the surface of walls. The curved panels are mostly made of limestone while the columns are marble and the floor is paved in marble. The larger lower panels frequently elaborate representation of the tree of life which may draw on models from Abbasid art in the east while adapting the, them to local Andalusian styles. Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Kasrina. My part in the topic is about the Alcantara Bridge, also called as Puente Alcantara in Spanish, that located in Toledo, Spain. This bridge is the oldest of the bridges over the Tagus in the Spanish city of Toledo. The word Alcantara comes from the Arabic word Alcantara, meaning bridge. Romans built this impressive bridge when they founded the city. It is located at the feet of the beautiful Castillo de San Servando. In the Middle Ages, this bridge was one of the few entrances into the city. It was obligatory for all pilgrims to enter through this bridge. Next, these are the gate towers of the Alcantara Bridge Toledo and it has two sides, eastern and western. The bridge currently has two arches. There is evidence of its construction in Roman times at the founding of Toledo. In 1836, it was almost damaged and destroyed but then they rebuilt in the 10th century, at which time a third arch disappeared, reduced to a gate where, with a horseshoe arch. Rebuild started in 1860 using mortar masonry. In 1969, they repaired the main pillars completely. The bridge that currently reserved for pedestrians is 83 meters long and 5.40 meters wide between two gates and crosses the river height in about 26 meters. The large round arch with a span of 28.3 meters total, 8.40 meters for the smaller arch and 16 meters for the arch over the slope leading up to the city. However, they believe that there was a similar arch on the opposite slope where the simple gate was built during 10th century. As I mentioned just now, 
The bridge has two gates, one to the west and another to the east. The western gate which has provided with their coat of arms and other decorations under the Catholic kings, while a Baroque triumphant arch replaced the eastern gate in 1721. Lastly, in 1921, the bridge was listed as a national cultural monument. My name is Akro Arobani Bin Zizam. I am presenting to you about the historical and architectural value of Minaret San Juan in Cordoba. The Minaret of San Juan is a freestanding tower belonging to an old mosque from the Emirate Caliphal era. Era was built in 930 CE during the reign of the first Spanish Maya Khalifa Abdul Rahman III. The mineral is now associated with the church called Iglesia de San Juan. It features a square plan and constructed of brick and stone with double horseshoe arch windows on each face that was functionally used to call for prayer. It's situated at the north, north of the building because of the denser part of the city which allowed the voice of Bilal coming from the mineral to coming from the from the mineral to be reflected that produced clear and louder sound. Now it used as the best bell tower to the church. In 2018, it underwent a profound reform or we call conservation where the mineral's value was notably increased as it is part of the only examples of Islamic caliphate architecture in Spain. Almina or the mineral located in Cordova at Plaza de San Juan was built in 930 common era during caliphal era of Abdul Rahman III. The mineral was built along with the mosque by Khadi Umar bin Hadabas during the government of Emir Abdul Rahman II. Its height must be must have been higher than the one it currently presents. After the conquest con conquest of the city by the Castilian troops of Ferdinand III in 1256, it was ceded to the Knights of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, also known as also known as St. John of the Knights, who built a church over the mosque. This would explain the name of both the Minaret and the adjoining church. In 1927, some reformation to the church by the architect Felix Hernandez and he also modified the second body and built the gable top of the mineral. In 1997, a fence or metallic mesh attached to the mineral was placed to prevent the beam of materials falling down straight to the floor, which was removed during the first phase of restoration between October and December 2018 during an exterior restoration that avoided slowing down its deterioration and lighting the monument. The minaret has a square base of 3.7 meters side and a height of 10.92 meters, one body of ashla ready to rock and grand twin horseshoe arches on marble columns with shang visigoths. This first body was crowned by a row of blind caliphate arches, which are not visible except for the three small columns that are still visible. The tower had a second body that was dismantled and replaced by the four-sided roof that it currently has. The interior is preserved. The snail ladder has access to the upper part of the mirror. That's all from us. We hope you enjoy our video presentation and thank you for your time. Thank you.